Hey, what's up? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, I'm Ben Rowlands and this channel's all about live loop and upload three videos just like this one every single week. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Now in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the auto record feature on the Boss RC300. So in today's video, I'm trying out a brand new hair product. It's a volumizing spray, and it's apparently meant to make my hair look absolutely massive, like something straight out of the 80s. If you think it's doing its job, comment down below, hashtag killing it. If you think it looks absolutely atrocious, hashtag get a haircut. But in today's video, you came to learn about the Boss RC300's auto record feature. So instead of talking about it, let's just see it in action. So picture this, you're on stage, you've got your looper pedal here, you've got your stage monitors over here. Now the problem for most live loopers is they have to stand in one stationary position in order to trigger record, play and stop the loops on their pedal. Now utilizing auto record on the Boss RC300 will allow us to walk around the stage while recording our loops. So we're gonna click the record button on my RC300 and as you can see it begins to flash red. Now this means auto record is now armed and we can walk away from our loop pedal to the other side of the stage before we start looping. Now we've got our monitor speaker here, you've got to do a compulsory power pose because that's what they are designed for really. Now as soon as we strike a chord on this guitar and play a note, the loop pedal will begin looping. So watch this. And as you can see, it is now looping. So we're pretty confident we're looping at this point. So we get into the groove, get the crowd going, get the head nod on the go. Now it's probably time to stop power pose and it's, it's kind of lost effect at this point. It's, it's dragged on, we've over egged it. So we're gonna lower our leg and head back over to our loop pedal. Now as soon as I click play, the loop will play back. So here we go. And as you can hear, we have successfully recorded our loop. So it's really easy to set up the auto record on the Boss RC300. So let's jump into the menus. So here's our looper pedal. You want to go into memory edit. We're then gonna scroll across to the right until we get to auto record. Now out the box and by default on each memory it will be set to off. So you want to turn this to on. You're then going to exit out and then you would write this to the memory in order to save it. Now if you want to copy and paste this to multiple memories so you don't have to do this every single time, all you have to do is you just have to turn this to the right until you find whatever memory you want to do it to and then you click right and then you just repeat that process until you've copied it as many times as you wish. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving me a like and a subscribe. My channel's all about live loop and upload live loop tutorials, live loop performances every Tuesday, Thursday, and now Saturdays. I've been Ben Rollins. You can find me online at benrollinsmusic.com. If you wanna learn more about live looping, check out this video here, and I'll see you in the next one.